So choosing the correct documentation is very important for your company. Uh, first, you need to consider the answer to one of these or to these two questions. Do you need an accredited laboratory certificate to meet ISO requirements 17025 or ANSI requirements? Uh, what class weights do you have? And the answer to these two questions will direct you to which certificate is the best choice for you. Okay, the next cert we'll look at is an accredited certificate also, and this will be a traceable certificate for your weight classes ASTM 4 through 7, NIST class F, OAML, M1, M2, and M3. Or if you have some older weights that might be NIST T or C. Now this certificate also gives you as found as left data and uncertainty information as required for your accredited accreditation agencies. Um, this certificate is also done per uh, SOP 8. Um, that's the testing procedure that's used in-house. So this would be the choice if you're having a, what I would call the lower class weights, uh, class um, 4, 5, 6, F, and M1, M2, or M3. And the last cert that we have to offer is our Certificate of Accuracy. Um, and what this cert gives you is just what class weight. So if you think back to our example that we had in part one for this 30 pound weight, our certificate for a class F, if I remember correctly, was, uh, it was 1,400 milligrams. So it would report that you bought a 30 pound weight and it was 1,400 milligrams or 1.4 grams. That's all the information you would get. You wouldn't know that this particular weight weighed 30.005 pounds or something. You know, you wouldn't know an actual wet measurement by any means. It is not traceable. There's no actual weight values, as I just told you in that example. And it's not a legal for trade document. Uh, we like to, spe to point this out because a lot of times people purchase this and then, you know, want, believe that it, the state weights and measures are going to accept this as a certificate of traceability, and it's not. It just tells you what tolerance you have.